So today I'm going to cover a really cool tool called WinDump. Here's an uh, overview of what it is. WinDump is the Windows version of TCP Dump, the uh, command line network analyzer for uh, Unix. WinDump is uh, fully compatible with uh, TCP Dump and can be used to watch and diagnose and save to this network traffic according to various complex rules. So basically a packet captured uh, program. It can run on Windows 95, 98, ME, NT, 2000, XP, 2003, and Vista. WinDump captures using the PCAP library and driver. So in order to, to use WinDump, you're going to need to install WinPCAP first. And I'll show you how to set up uh, your environment for that. So, all right, let's, uh, let's get started. Okay, to install WinDump, Let's open up a browser. All right, we need WinPCAP for Windows first. So click here. OK, click Next. I agree. And install. Then click finish. Now we can download WinDump. All right, click here. OK, run. OK, you have it. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the commands WinDump has. And I will show you how you can look at some traffic as well as see your available interface. OK, so the first thing you want to do is Open up a command prompt and go to the C drive. Type in dir and see if you can see the windump.exe file. So we don't see it, we need to transfer it there. So go to where you downloaded windump and then just transfer it. To the C drive. All right, we have it. All right, to launch WinDump, it's simple. You just type in WinDump. This command right here will capture packets on all available interfaces. To stop it, Control C. To clear it, CLS. Okay. So let's say you want to display a list of available interfaces associated with your machine. To do that, type in WinDump space minus D. So this command gave me um, basically a list of my available interface associated with my machine, as you can see. So now let's say you want to capture packets on a particular interface. Let's say you had more than one interface, like on mine, I only have one, but let's say you had four or five different interfaces and you wanted to capture only on a particular one instead of all of them. To do that, you run this command. Dump minus I and then specify the interface number. So one for me. Again, this command will listen on the particular interface defined by the parameter that I specified, as well as the interface. Okay. Okay, let's say you wanted to capture packets on a particular interface and port. 
So what you want to do is type in wind dump space minus I, I for interface. Let's select our interface number, one, and port, and specify the port that you uh, want to collect on. I will use port 80. Again, this command will give us two options. Specify the uh, inter uh, interface number as well as port number, and we'll be able to capture packets from that. All right, to cancel, Control C, clear, CLS. Okay, let's say I want to capture the entire packets and write them into a file and then read them. All right, to do that, Type in wind dump minus i one for the interface minus w for write. We will write it into the C drive. All right, but let's make a folder first to keep everything organized. So create a folder. We'll call it. We'll just call it test. Keep it simple. Okay. And we will call this my cap for my capture dot pcap for packet capture. When you're ready, hit enter. So right now it's capturing everything into a packet file. And we can verify that by going to the test folder, as you can see. When we're satisfied, we can control C it to cancel the collection. As you can see, we have uh, packet captured 6,014, packets received by filter 6,015, packets dropped by kernel zero. All right, let's say we want to read the files from the console. So type in wind dump space minus R, C drive. Test folder my p my uh my cap dot p cap and there you have it with this command we're able to read our captured file now then let's say you want to capture all packets in their entirety using the sap uh, snaplin equals zero option and logs the output of the file for analysis on Wireshark. All right, to do this, you want to go and type wind dump, specify your interface number, minus S, set to zero, and write it to the C drive, test folder, and we will call this capture one. When you're ready, hit enter. Let's verify that it's being created. Okay. Let's give some time to collect. After we are finished, we're going to go ahead and import it onto Wireshark and then view it. Okay, that should be enough. Let's go ahead and Stop the collect, control C. All right, so we've collected 482 packets. Let's go ahead and import that into Wireshark and see what we have. Click on open. Navigate to the C drive, test folder, and click on capture one, open. And there you have it. can filter the traffic by just going to the filter box over here and typing in TCP, hit enter. All right. Now then, let's say you want to use wind dump to gather network traces. Again, to clear it, CLS. 
All right, you want to type in wind dump minus I for the interface, this time minus Q, and I'll go over these commands after I write it out. Minus W, test, we'll call this diagnose trace. Minus N, minus capital C, 30, minus W, Ten minus U minus S zero. So let's talk about some of the uh, parameters a little bit, descriptions of parameters. So I again, you have your I, which is uh, the num the network interface number. Uh, Q is for quiet mode. W is to Write the file. N, uh, it's called the uh, the logging will not resolve the host name, so all data will be in IP address format. C, the size in millions of bytes. The log files so uh, will grow before moving to the next file. W, the number of circular log files to retain in addition to the current log file. Specify in path where the files are to be stored. U. As each packet is saved, it will be written to the output file. And S. Decreases the amount of packet build, uh, buffering. Set this to zero. Okay, whenever you're ready, just go ahead and hit enter. And right now it's capturing. We'll give some time. And then we will go ahead and read it and see see what's inside of it. And we can do it, we can read the files either using the console or using Wireshark. And I'll just show you both just so that you know. Okay, let's say you're finished. Go ahead and Control C. We want to read the file in the console. Again, the minus R is for read, test folder, and the name of the file we named it to. All right, let's see what we have. Oh, that's right, zero. So with this command, you can read it in the console window. Basically, all of your collects to gather network traces. And you can also view that in Wireshark, as you can see. Again, Windup has the ability to file capture inputs, uh, basically like protocols, ports, hosts. So you can use it just to uh, capture some packets. But to analyze it, you'll need to use other softwares such as uh, Wireshark and so forth. But well, I hope um, some of these commands were useful for you. And just play around with it, give it a shot, and uh, I'll supply some more information in the instructor's notes and in the reference so that way you can continue to play around with it. Alright, well thank you for watching and have a good day.